All right, so in this short uh, lesson, we're going to discuss the difference between weather and climate. So what's the difference between the two? All right, so very important terminology here, weather. Weather is your daily or weekly variations in temperature and other atmospheric conditions. It's what you experience on a day-to-day -day basis. It can change drastically from day to day, from week to week, even from year to year. Climate is your long-term patterns in atmospheric conditions. It's really hard to see here, but um, this is a, a, a picture of a, some of the built an igloo, or a not very well-formed igloo, but um, this is down in Washington, D.C. Uh, a couple of years, I think it was 2015, 2015 maybe, there was a big snowstorm in D.C. And someone built this igloo and put a sign on here that said, Al Gore's new home. Now, I have to admit that's pretty funny, um, although it's completely wrong and off base. But um, the point here is that, you know, they're trying to make is, wow, it's cold in D.C. We never have weather like this. Where's this global warming stuff? Okay, so we sort of discussed this earlier uh, in this lesson. But this is a common problem um, with people confusing either purposefully or not weather and climate okay so here um, is a, a chart that that summarizes some research that was done a few years ago uh, that I think is just absolutely fascinating so this is um, polled uh, some scientists from um, uh, University of New Hampshire they polled um, people okay and what they did was they took uh, surveys uh, on different days of the year <clears throat> okay so they among the data that they gathered were whether they were a Democrat and independent or Republican so this is your Republican line this is your independent line and this is your Democrat line okay so they asked them first of all what their political persuasion is but they also asked them um, whether or not they thought that humans were impacting the climate um, or Yes, that impact, whether or not humans were impacting the climate, okay? So this is their score based on, um, this means people didn't think humans are impacting the climate, and this means people are, they think they are impacting the climate. So the higher you are on this axis, the more people thought that humans were impacting the climate, okay? So a point here means the people that they asked at this time, didn't really think people were that responsible. And at this point, because it's higher on this scale, that means that people believe that humans were responsible. So what gets really interesting is they also took um, note of the temperature anomaly on the day of the interview. So when they were actually asking the people these questions, they noted whether it was warmer, okay, so warmer than usual or colder than usual, okay? So this means zero is the same the same temperature as it should be. This, the further you get over here means the warmer it was that day than, than you would expect it to be. And over here is the colder that you would expect it to be that day. So what do you see in this chart? Um, pretty fascinating if you ask me. The Republicans, self-identified Republicans, whether it was colder than usual or warmer than usual, generally did not, okay, so they're low on this scale, did not believe that humans are um, impacting the climate. Democrats, whether it was colder than usual or warmer than usual, they were very high on the scale, meaning they believe that humans impacted the climate. So remember earlier on I said this is a political issue. This is more than any chart I've ever seen indicates this. Okay, so Republicans don't doesn't matter. They basically don't believe in it. Now, mind you, this is in 2013, so these numbers, uh, my guess is the Republican line would probably shift up a little bit. The Democratic, the people that, that identify as Democrats, they believe climate change is real no matter what the temperature is. What's particularly fascinating is you look at the independent line, this green line. So what the independents, um, what the independent, the data on the independents shows is that if it was colder than it should be that day, independents were pretty low. They didn't really believe that humans were responsible for climate change. The warmer it got, then like as as it got warmer than it should be that day, belief in climate change increased significantly. I mean, we're talking for like three, you know, point three five, and almost doubled to point seven. Okay, so it, it's just fascinating that that politics matches up so closely 
with the belief in climate change, either you're you're a Republican, you're basically not allowed to believe in climate change. You're a Democrat, you're pretty much not allowed to not believe in climate change. And then if you're an independent, you're kind of like, well, it just depends on what the weather's like that day. So again, th this shouldn't happen. I mean, if we really had an understanding of the science, the science is very, very clear. We have to look at the long-term patterns. This, Yes, there's some uncertainty, but by and large, it's almost... It's, it's almost impossible right now to believe that humans are not impacting the climate. Okay, the evidence is, is abundantly clear. Uh, whether or not we can prove it, you know, completely is, is um, up for debate. Um, but it just goes to show that this has become very much a political issue. So if you go back to the difference between weather and climate, you know, remember we started this lesson, this tweet from Donald Trump, you know, harping about how it's cold today, you know, it's unseasonably cold. And he said, where's this global warming? And again, the first point I made was that if you have to look at global, so it's global climate change, not U.S. climate change. So that's the first of all. The second of all, if you look at just, you know, a month, a little over a month after Trump sent out this tweet, we're setting records all over the United States, um, in particular on the East Coast, where he was tweeting from, um, in record heat waves. Um, I mean, I, I was here for the heat wave in, in Delaware here, and it was like 70 degrees in the middle of February. Crazy, crazy weather, right? And so if I were an unscrupulous, you know, um, scientist or instructor or person, I could say, well, here it is, evidence that climate change is real. But again, that's weather. It just happened to be hot that day. Um, you have to look at both the global trends, which were hot, but also we looked at in the last lesson the long-term trends. So you have to look at the long-term climate trends um, in order to, to determine whether or not the climate's actually changing. And all the trends are pointing to the climate changing. Okay, so that's the lesson on weather and climate.